If you think it's impossible as a 60 something woman going to Europe for 30 days and do it all in a carry-on, have enough outfits that you don't get bored and you think that's impossible, stay tuned. I'm going to show you why it's possible and teach you how you can do it too. All right, I'm gonna talk about philosophy of packing because I think you have to start there because just because I chose something doesn't mean you gotta go out and go, I have to get what she got. So if you haven't watched our video on how to pack and what to pack, start there. The specific one that I would encourage you to watch is our anti-packing list strategy because that one is all about finding what works for you so that you can feel confident and beautiful and like you because so many of those packing lists honestly don't fit us that are in the 60 something category i'm not gonna wear five t-shirts two pair of head hiking boots i'm just not that kind of person this is how i dress at home it's how i want to dress when i'm out on the road too so i chose some things very strategically in that anti-packing list we always talk about thinking first about where you're going and then building around that so that's where i started we're taking a group for the venture society it's our second trip with women only to the Baltics. I'm super excited about it. And we have these wonderful celebrations planned for them. If you ever have the privilege of coming on one of our Venture Society trips that we sponsor, you're gonna be blown away because we have all these special treats. And some of them revolve around chef-driven dinners and special experiences, shopping exclusively in one person's store. And I just wanna dress up a little bit more and not be hiker girl during the day. So some things I'll wear during the day, I chose outfits to dress me up a little bit more than maybe you think is comfortable for a packing strategy for yourself. So think about what works for you, but the basics are we start with our foundations. So I'm wearing the pants I'm wearing because they're easy, they go with everything. I like comfortable pants, so they're thin, the material's great, easy peasy. Find a pair of pants you like, and I'm gonna put a pair of jeans, not gonna show it to you because Y'all know what jeans look like. So by piece, I always go with something fun. And this personally is my fun item. I love it. It's just easy to do. And you can think, oh gee, why would you pack that? It feels so bulky, but it's not. I can wrap it, put a belt around it. I can tuck it up like this, wear a skirt with a pair, tie it up like this with jeans. I can put sweaters over it. So the combinations are endless. Plus it just makes me happy. So I would suggest you find one thing that makes you happy. And then you can do my strategy, which is pretty much basic black because it doesn't get dirty. It doesn't show dirt. It makes me look thinner, all that stuff. So fun out of the way. And then let's start thinking about what you could build. So the other thing that because I'm going on a special outing, I decided to pack a dress. And I normally don't pack a dress. Um, I think it's kind of overkill. But in this case, this one is one that I can wear during the day, but I can dress it up with a pair of jewelry or a scarf or something. And it's super comfortable. It's like wearing pajamas, but I love the cut and the look. So, and it doesn't take up much space because the material is really thin. And that's what you're looking for when you're building your travel wardrobe. I've had this, got it at some consignment store somewhere knowing that this is a great travel basic dress so it was easy to think about and pull aside so start thinking about building your wardrobe now funny thing is is that when i was packing i realized that a lot of my basics are eileen fisher i would love to be sponsored by eileen fisher because i wear her clothes all the time which i think is something that 60 something year old women wear well because they're good quality they go with everything and they just are practical. They last forever. If you can't be in that category where you afford it at the retail store, I'm telling you, you can find it at Poshmark. You can find it in consignment stores because the quality holds up. So a lot of my pieces happen to be that. So for example, this jacket is one of her pieces that I love. It actually buttons down all the way in the front. So I can wear this as a button down. When I purchased it from her, I noticed that the label was on the back. So it's really meant to be worn as a sweater with the buttons on the back. But I was thinking, no, to make it more versatile, 
look how cool this looks to just open it up. Now I have a sweater. I have a jacket that I can wear buttoned all the way. I can turn it around. And so I'm never gonna get bored with this one piece of a very light cotton sweater, but it's gonna give me the warmth I'm looking for because we're gonna be in the Baltics and it's not gonna necessarily be hot weather. And so I think that's also a part that a lot of people struggle with is how do you pack for transition pieces for transition times of the year? And this is how you do it. You wanna again be looking for material because you can always add layers, but you don't wanna pack bulk. So that's why I chose to have this sweater because it goes with everything. So you can start seeing some of my tops that I'm gonna build with it are, I always take a short sleeve because ladies, if you're like me and you're in your 60s, whew, menopause. And so my body changed and I can't, I have to have something that in case I'm in a store and it's heated, I'm starting to sweat, I can start peeling off the layers. But again, I chose this because it has a front placket that opens all the way and I can wear it front, but if I want to, I can just wear it in backwards and now it becomes more like a mock turtleneck and I've gotten two uses out of it. So this kind of goes with me on so many trips for that very reason. I always pack some type of a, like this is a dolman sleeve, a t-shirt like material, again, soft. And then because I'm doing that, I'm always gonna pack some type of a button down and that's where I start going with color against all the black because I can put it underneath this, but I can certainly wear this during the day with one of the tanks that I've got. I always pack a t-shirt, except that my t-shirts are a little different. I'm not a t-shirt kind of gal, but this one is kind of grungy. It's got some holes in the strategic places. Thank you, Planet, which is another brand I like. So you can put all these things together by just swapping them out and I have lots of combinations. So I can wear this and, and wear layers by putting this kind of thin t-shirt like thing on top and I've got lots to go. So I did mention I'm going to Scandinavia where it's a little cold. So all I'm gonna do is take one sweater that's comfy. I can wear this in the room when it's cold. I can wear it on a train when it's chilly on the plane. There's just so many functions for this. So I can wear it out during the day and it's very versatile. So it doesn't take up much space in my suitcase. And then the last piece, that I think is really key is I always like having a jacket because I'm just a jacket kind of girl. I want things to look a little bit more dressy than not. Honestly, you're just treated better. <laughs> That's a different video. But um, so this jacket, it looks like a jacket. I almost packed a blazer, but I decided that I'd rather gain more space for versatility, put the blazer aside because when I packed it, it was about that. Thick. and that's too much. So this is super thin. It takes absolutely no space. It's perfect. The, there's no wrinkles to it whatsoever, but I can wear it as an open jacket. I can wear it over t-shirts. I can wear it over a dress. I can dress it up or not. And it's just versatile. It just packs great in my packing cubes. And then I've got one more piece that I'll know at the end, whether it's going to really work or not. I have this duster that's kind of denim and only reason I'm picking it, honestly, is because I'm just, I like denim dress, but I'm not gonna pack a denim dress. And this gives me some versatility as a light jacket. So I'm gonna wear it as a light jacket that I can wear throughout the day. I can slip it on top of something going to dinner. I can put a shawl over it if I'm a little cold. So I'm gonna see, do I have space for this? Because I'm also packing a raincoat. The real key is finding a couple basics that work for you and then thinking through the kind of material. I think people make the most mistake by getting attached to something that they think this is cool without thinking about does it pack compactly and can it be something that if I'm cold, I think a lot of us are afraid of being cold. If you're feeling cold, how many things could you layer because the body heat in between all those fabrics will make a difference. And then one last tip for 60 something year old women is that I have, since I went through menopause, I have totally changed the kind of fabrics that I buy. A lot of the things that I'm packing are either linen like uh, this jacket that I showed you at the beginning is a linen the reason for that is that it breathes because you never know when you have a hot flash and so I'm packing differently I'm packing less polyester than ever I don't want any I know some people are worried about wrinkles in my book it's just set it out a tip is get a washcloth wet it really good 
spray, you know, um, use it to kind of iron with a washcloth, hang it up in the bathroom. The next day it's an ironed cotton shirt because you're going to have something that breathes more at our stage of life. It's just easier. So think about that when you're thinking about your packing strategy, because you want to make sure that everything that I have, um, you can easily wash. And so you may be thinking, well, how in the world are you going to do this for 30 days? So few outfits. I have so many outfits in here that I can make tons of combinations. So I'm not worried about getting bored, but I am worried about getting dirty. So everything that I have is super light that I can wash it in my hotel room, put it up if I can't find a laundry or hotel laundry service is really expensive. But if you're in an Airbnb, just always choose one somewhere in your trip that has a washer and dryer, you can take care of that. So the key is find what works for you so that when you put it on, you go, I like the way I look instead of, oh, I have to be Susie Traveler now and go to, no shame, I'm not gonna name the names, but you know, the ones that have like targeted to our age demographic that are like travel wardrobes. And some of that stuff makes you look frumpy. So if you're not that kind of a person, I'm giving you full permission to figure out ways to make it work for you. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I always think about, you know, wallets because we're always thinking about purses. So I'm going to show you a purse that I got, which I really love. It's a crossbody, so I can feel totally secure, but it is a wallet. And so you may want to look for something like this. I have all my credit cards, my cash, it's my phone, tube of lipstick. Everything I need is for this. I can take these straps out. It has just a clutch. So this becomes my evening purse so I don't have to think about it. I just grab it, have my phone ready to go to dinner. I'm good. But during the day, my favorite when traveling is still packing my trusty Longchamp bag because it's handy. I tend to get the one that's the medium size rather than the real large one, although I have both. And so sometimes I pack both for various toting things, going to the grocery store, when you're shopping, um, etc. So I always pack this as my alternative purse. That jewelry scarves, on top of what I'm doing, I'm ready to go. And one thing I told you we were done, but we're not. Because there's always that, what we call a gimme item. If you watch our anti-packing list, you're gonna understand what that means. But I got a great little kimono. It's silk. I love this thing because it is like wearing nothing. But if I go out to dinner or I pack, put this with a pair of jeans during the day, I can make it less formal. But this, a uh, little pair of flat heels, I'm ready to go to dinner. And we call it a gimme because it takes absolutely no space in the suitcase. So it doesn't count on what's going into my packing uh, cubes because really this is like having a scarf. So you may wanna be looking for like a kimono when you're shopping, something like this. Start collecting your gimme items. Uh, they make a huge difference in being able to have the variety that you're seeking, but end up with literally more options in your suitcase if you're strategic about how you're packing. So see how simple this is? No bigger than a scarf. You can do this.